Welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge. So today we're just hopping straight into it. We have a birthday for Anora, so we've already got a cake made for her. So we'll be starting with that, and then I just wanted to start off in the calendar so you can see what we have going on. We're gonna be delivering mead to the castle tomorrow, and then on Friday it will be 13, 10, and also Kenrick's birthday into an adult, so we'll have another roll there. I did go ahead and turn my aging on and set all of the aging to the time frames for the challenge. And so for right now, I, I did go ahead and leave toddlers at 18 days. So Anora is aging up today and then next week will be Adeline as well. So fingers crossed everything goes well for Anora, but let's go ahead and get her birthday started. So we do have a cake for her. Also, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I meant to tell you guys, Rosalind is pregnant actually. She did get pregnant. Um, the night before, this morning that she woke up, she found out that she is expecting a baby. So I didn't wanna hold off. She actually got the whim to try for a baby with Kenrick. So I went ahead and just had them do that before I got them through the night for the start of today's episode. So we are pregnant with another Rosenthorn baby. Fingers crossed it's another boy. And also I really hope it gets red hair because we have all been saying in the comments that all of the kids are blonde and we really want a little red haired Rosenthorn. So let's go ahead and get our little troublemaker over here and help her blow out her candles. Happy birthday, Anora! Happy birthday, little bean! <laughs> Kenrick's stealing the, stealing the moment. Kenrick is now tearful. That's, I'm so happy for you, Kenrick. That's fine. Happy birthday, Anora! Okay, so I went ahead and gave her the creative aspiration because she was like always making messes and I don't know, that just, I, would, I, I thought about giving her slob but that's just really annoying for gameplay. So I just gave her a creative trait and a creative aspiration and of course loves outdoors. And I gave her self-assured because she was always super independent running around doing her own thing. So I felt like that fit. So you guys know the drill. Let's go ahead and do our roll. So for aging up into a child, it is if they roll a nine or a 19, they do not survive. Oh my gosh, 20. We have been so close lately. We've been like one number off. Um, and so I like the idea that some of you guys had in the comments that if they roll really close, then perhaps maybe they get a little sick or something like that. So we'll just see if that like plays into the storyline. But yeah, that was a really close one. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Anora her little makeover and we will be right back. So here is Anora. I decided to go ahead and keep her same hairstyle. She looks so grown up and beautiful. I cannot believe it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her a cross stitching set. A lot of you guys suggested that in the comments and I think that's like a really good activity because the kids can actually do that one. And since she is creative, I think that's something that she will really enjoy. All right, so I've gone ahead and put that here. So I wanna have her try to, um, I, I maybe there's a mod, I'll do some research to see for right now. Um, we may have to just spin simoleons um, to do this since we don't, oh no, I'm gonna have to take her out of that dress because that one's glitched. So much of my CC has messed up and it's making me really sad. Um, so I'll have to change her out of that, unfortunately. Hopefully the other ones work because I only have like three dresses for child female sim. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find some more CC. But yeah, Anora is just gonna go ahead and start learning how to do some cross stitching. This animation is so cute. So she's just gonna enjoy her birthday. And then the boys are gonna go ahead and go out hunting. It is a bit of a rainy day, but we are getting pretty low on food. So I'm gonna go ahead and send Kenrick out. He was working in the farm and we'll send um, Caspian out as well. And then I'll just send Jasper out on a stroll just because he can't actually go hunting, but I definitely want to send him out uh, when the boys go. So that way it'll be like he went hunting with them. So he got all dressed and ready this morning. Jasper, everyone's leaving for hunting, buddy. Time to head out. 
All right, so they are on their way. And let's see, I think Rosalyn is actually tending the garden with Papa Cedric. So yeah, they're just getting the harvest done. I did add a mod in that actually like makes them auto harvest. I, I might take it out because I want to have control over it if we just start doing one harvest a season potentially. Uh, but I did set up the farm and I set up a club under Kenrick. Uh, I just named it farm hands and I have a couple of townies so I want to test that out by having some of the townies come over and help do some of the guarding as if they were farming the land um, for like the lord's castle like I talked about in last episode so I did get all of that set up and let's see Rosslyn is in second trimester in eight hours so that is progressing well and so Rosslyn has been working super hard on mead. So we have 12 cinnamon honey mead and 25 baked apple cider mead that we will be delivering to the castle tomorrow. So today um, we may open, it depends on what time the boys get back from hunting, but I don't think we're gonna open the tavern today. I think they decided to take a day off from the business since they will be preparing for their trip to the castle. Let me change her dress to see if it doesn't glitch out so let's try this one and see if I zoom out yeah that one seems to not be glitching so that's good I'm gonna um once I clean out my cc and find out which ones are good and like don't glitch in my game I will definitely do a video going over a lot of my favorite mods and custom content for you guys a lot of you have been asking for that so I'm gonna try to do that very soon but the boys had a really good hunt, it looks like. Let's see what Kenrick brought back. So three chicken, great job, Kenrick, duck, and squirrel. Let's check on the bees real quick. Yes, these are full, so I'll have her come collect the honey. Oh, poor Rosalyn. So while she does that, I'm actually going to go ahead and have Kenrick start a gathering and then have him and Papa Cedric come out here and start planting. Okay, so yeah, look, all the farm hands are showing up. Okay, Papa Cedric is here. Awesome, they automatically started planting. Well, at least the one did. I love this. Yeah, so the men are just all out here together, and this is gonna be a great way for us to also like build some friendships, because I imagine these guys are having lots of nice chats while they're out here. So the men will get going on the field. Why don't you start watering Kenrick? Rosalind's just gonna check in and see if anyone wants to have anything to eat once they're done. So All right, so Nora is just gonna help mom and start learning how to make flowers. So that way when she's older, she knows how to take care of her home. All right, and then I learned this trick to just have them go ahead and just pick up all of the servings to have in their inventory because I did realize that I just kept making flour over and over again. So if you're using the old cookbook mod um, and you do like butter or flour, um, just go ahead and just pick up all of the servings as soon as they make it. And then uh, you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the time until you run out. Um, okay, so we've got all of those. So we should be able to make, I would imagine, a chicken pie. Yes, yeah, so let's make a fresh chicken pie and then we can invite all of the farm hands. Let's see, are they almost done with the garden? They are. Okay, so I really enjoy how this club system works. So basically the way I set it up, in case any of you guys wanna do this, you will need get together. But I set it up and I basically just put tent garden as the only activity. I didn't set any requirements. I just made it private and added the specific townie sims that I wanted. And it worked, they came over and I had all of the carrots already laid out. So they just got to planting. So I really enjoy how that worked out. And then I just did carrots cause I don't know, I read something that said typically it was like one type of plant that they would grow each season. So I figured these two rows, we will symbolize that those are for the castle. So I haven't decided how I'll um, do that in terms of gameplay so we don't like, like make money off of it. Um, unless they did get paid, I guess maybe the peasants were getting paid a little bit for farming that. I'm not really sure. I imagine they were, um, just getting to like live on the land and stuff like that. But I don't know if any guys, if any of you guys know, I'd be interested in that like tidbit of historical, um, facts because I love learning from you guys. 
All right, so a couple of the farm hands are here. Rosalind has just finished the chicken pie, so we're just going to have everyone go ahead and grab themselves something to eat. We don't have very many places for everyone to sit, but I'm sure they're all going to enjoy having a nice hot meal before they all head home back to their own farms. And I think Henrik is going to go ahead and start to get to know some of these and maybe talk about the joust tournament. Um, I have a mod called Medieval Interaction. So let's see, maybe we can uh, discuss the nobles um, and just have a little chat and start to get to know. This is Nicholas Rogers. Maybe tell him a funny story. He specifically wants to um, chat with Severin. So this is Severin. So maybe he finds him quite interesting. Um, so let's see, Medieval Interaction. Um, discuss what's new around the kingdom. Let him know we're actually heading out to go to the castle tomorrow to deliver our mead. So we're very excited about that. So yeah, these guys are just going to go ahead and finish up their dinner. I just realized how late it is in the game. So I'm going to get them down for the night. Everyone's going to head out and then I will see you when these guys wake up tomorrow. So it is now the next day and these guys are all packed up and ready to head out and take the mead to the castle. Uh, Papa Cedric will be staying home with the girls and Jasper will be heading out this time to actually get to go to the castle. So I'll see you guys when they make it to the castle. All right, so we have arrived officially at the castle. Here we are. Jasper is so excited. He is right now being goofy with one of the guards at the front gate. And we have been greeted by the Fuentes family. And they actually work for the castle. They live on a little plot of land right nearby. They do all of the farming and cooking and things like that. And so the king and queen have sent them out to greet us and to receive the mead. So we're just going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to them since we are meeting them for the first time. And then Jasper notices this beautiful little girl. He's like probably never seen another girl his own age before. And he's like, oh my gosh, hi, hello. And I'm sure he makes some kind of silly little joke about the castle. And he tells her, I'm going to be a knight one day. You just watch and trying to impress her. And I think he's going to tell her... Um, he's going to goof around for sure, but it looks like things are going well with these guys. Her name is Maya. Um, do an impression, Jasper. Are you dancing, Jasper? What are you, what is, he is dancing. Jasper, you are <laughs> such a silly little boy. Oh my goodness. Hopefully she will like his jokes and things like that. But we're going to go ahead and get these guys into the castle so we can get our meat delivered since that is what we are here for. Oh my gosh, Jasper. I just, I can't with him right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. We're going to, we're going to go into the castle now. All right. So the Fuentes are just escorting uh, the family inside and showing them where they will need to go ahead and put the mead of course <laughs> Kenrick had to get Jasper to stop messing around with the knights and bring the kiddos inside as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up just selling the mead from their inventory to show that they have delivered it to the castle but before I do I want to go ahead and pause because I know so many of you guys have been wanting to see the castle lot and so this castle is called the Avalon Castle. I did download it from The Sims Resource. It comes with a lot of custom content that you also have to download with it but I really wanted something that just had a certain 
aesthetic from the exterior. And so this one definitely nailed the look that I wanted for the world. Um, I haven't played in it. It has a really cool like inner courtyard area. So they do have like their own animal shed and chickens um, and a gardening area over here, which is apparently where um, the royal family is currently hanging out. Um, so these guys are very much inspired by the Starks from um, Game of Thrones. So I have, I've given them different names though. So you guys have met Cl Queen Lara before, but this is Lady Offred and Princess Sasa. So they're their daughters and then they do have one illegitimate son. I didn't give them all the sons. I just, I love the daughters. So, um, wherever the king is but yeah that is what like the courtyard area looks like and then from the top if i go down one level basically there's just like it made it to look like it's like set up to defend the castle which is pretty cool um up here is oh my gosh oh my gosh they had a baby you guys were right the queen was pregnant is this a boy do they have an heir because they didn't have an heir they only have an illegitimate son so that was gonna be drama. They have a baby. Okay, we're gonna to have to get the scoop on that. This is actually supposed to be the girls' room. And then this is where the king and queen stay. They have a bathroom. One of the things I don't love about this castle, if I go down another level, like this is where their kitchen area is. There's just no like super grand hall um, sort of a situation. There's just like sort of a lot of stairways and narrow pathways. So they do have like an area where like the peasants would be staying or the workers um, and a couple areas like that. So I haven't tried to play in it, but if you guys are interested in this lot, definitely download it from The Sims Resource and give it a try. But I mainly like it just for the exterior and the sort of inner courtyard area, which is where we'll be coming the majority of the time. But I wanna go ahead and get back to these guys' story. So we're gonna go ahead, um, we're gonna, we probably won't be interacting with the king and queen much themselves. I think they'll have the Fuentes family handle all of that for them. And then we're gonna go ahead, oh my gosh, 4,000 simoleons and 1,920 simoleons. So that was, we're up to 13,425 simoleons with this delivery, so that is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and let Jasper talk a little bit more with Maya. Let's see, enthuse about outdoors. Tell her an unbelievable story about when you went hunting with your dad and your grandpa the other day. And let me make sure that Rosalind did introduce. Here, share the big news. Let her know, yes, we are expecting our fourth child. So I think little Jasper is absolutely smitten by Maya. Of course, he's going to make fun of adults. I feel like he would definitely do that. Monkey around a little bit. He is feeling very confident right now. Very confident. Oh, wait. Monkey around is a mischief interaction. Discuss interests. Let's see. Ask her. So what is it that you do around the castle? Like... Do you get to hang out with the king and the queen all the time? Like, that must be so cool. Have you ever got to use a sword? Because I, I shoot arrows with my grandpa sometimes. <laughs> oh, my gosh, they're so cute. And he lost his tooth. He's so cute. Why don't you make some funny faces, Jasper? Their bar has gone up. They already, they're friends already. I love this for him. So what these guys are going to do is actually, um, so since it was such a long journey, they're actually going to be going back to stay at the Fuentes' house. Um, they will be hosting us for the evening. And so they're going to go ahead and get packed up and head over to the Fuentes' and we'll just be there for the night. All right, so we have arrived at the Fuentes' little house where they stay. It is really close to the castle. You should be able to see, yes, the castle is right up there. So they just have this little plot of land and they spend most of their time working at the castle, but they do have some of their own um, little garden, but they have a nice spot right here next to the sea. 
Alonzo is asking Kendrick if him and Jasper want to go ahead and go fishing. So the boys are going to head out and go and do a little bit of fishing. The girls have all just headed inside and they are going to go ahead and get a little bit of dinner prepped. Rosalind is going to help out and join the cooking together with Jaleesa and Maya is also gonna help out with them as well. So they're gonna go ahead. Jaleesa's gonna teach us how to make her meat and potato recipe. And so Rosalind is really enjoying this. And let's see, the boys should be doing some fishing. They are, did Jasper catch anything yet? Nope, he hasn't. So Rosalind is gonna go ahead and boast about her family. She's telling her all about the meat business and how they finally opened up their own tavern and everything. She's gonna enthuse about some cooking and tell her about some of her own recipes as well. All right, so they have finished making dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and get everyone inside to enjoy a nice meal. All right, so the boys have arrived. Maya is here. I think we may be one chair short. No, I think we have enough seats for everyone. So these guys are really enjoying their stay here. And then once they are done with dinner, they do have some extra beds. So there's a bunk bed here where Jasper will be staying. And then um, there is an extra bed. Um, the Fuentes family is used to hosting travelers that have to come in for the castle. So they love having different travelers stay here at them in their little seaside hut. Yeah, so I think Kenrick's gonna just go ahead and get to know Alonzo a little bit, discuss if they're, like, what's new at the market. Do you guys have anything different than what we have over on our side of the kingdom? Jasper is gonna go ahead and continue getting to know he's gonna ask maya if she wants to go out and cloud gaze he's gonna say do you want to go out by the beach and lay out and look at the clouds do you want to go look at the clouds with me so they're gonna go ahead outside together and do a little bit of cloud gazing so cute. Okay, so I moved these guys out to the beach because I thought that would be a lot sweeter. So they are just laying out here by the beach, doing a little bit of cloud gazing, listening to the waves. Isn't this just the cutest thing? Jasper is majorly crushing on Maya right now. This has got to be probably the greatest thing that has ever happened to him. He never wants to go home. He has begged mom and dad if he could just stay here forever. So I think what I'm going to do is have Rosalind come out here and she is going to tell the kiddos, hey, it's getting kind of late. Um, I think you guys need to go ahead and come inside. So they are all going to go in and get settled and ready for bed. And then I'll see you guys when they all wake up and get ready to head back home tomorrow. All right, so it is now the next morning and we're just saying our goodbyes. And I wanted to have Jasper go ahead and reveal his crush to Maya and see how she reacts. I do have a mod for this. I will put, I think it's a Little Miss Sam mod. I'll put the name on the screen. But let's see, did he get a moodlet or anything? I'm not sure this is the first time to use it. So, okay, he didn't get a moodlet. Okay, they just have first crush, sweet, young, and innocent love. It's just an innocent little crush. But yeah, he's gonna go ahead and just give her a hug goodbye. He is very, very sad to be leaving. He has just been begging mom and dad to let him stay. He wants to hang out at the castle, but these guys are gonna go ahead and hit the road and start their long journey back home. Right, so these guys have made it home and the girls are so happy. Jasper missed his 
Papa, Adeline, go see, go see Kenrick. So these guys are gonna go ahead and just get settled in back at home. And for right now, we are gonna go ahead and switch in to our side household and catch up with Caspian and Mira and Liam. But I do wanna be mindful that Rosalind is actually, went into the third trimester during the night. It was around 10 p.m. So usually it's about another 24 hours. So she should be having the baby at about 10 p.m. tonight but if we are in the other household and she goes into labor it should notify us and then we will hop back over but for right now let's go ahead and catch back up with Caspian and Mira all right so we are back on the crumbling aisle with Caspian Mira and Liam they have just recently returned home from visiting the mainland where they were reconnecting with Kenrick which unfortunately did not go the way that Caspian hoped he was feeling a little bit apprehensive about meeting his brother and wasn't sure like how things would go after they hadn't seen each other in pretty much over a decade but um, he's not gonna give up he's gonna continue to try to reconnect for right now they've decided to just return back home to the crumbling aisle and then as things progress they may decide to go back and try to reconnect again so for right now what i think caspian is gonna do is he is gonna go ahead and write a letter to caspian so we're gonna write a letter to family and he is just going to explain to caspian how he feels so bad for leaving him alone that he was also very young and didn't really think about what he was doing or the impact that it would have specifically on Kenrick that he just always wanted to live a life at sea and after their parents were gone there really didn't feel like there was anything left for him back at their hut so he just went out on his own and didn't really think about the impact that that would have on them and so he has a moodlet i hope you know i miss you i hope you miss me at least half as much as i miss you being away for so long can make anyone homesick so i think he's gonna let him know that him and mira are really thinking about trying to get a plot of land and moving to the mainland and hopefully that will give them more time to reconnect and sort of get to know each other and heal the rift between them so he's just going to go ahead and spend a little bit of time with baby Liam. I also really like the storyline ideas that you guys had for them because Mira and Caspian are actually very close to adulthood. So they didn't have a baby until later in life. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, Caspian spent a lot of time away at sea and was only home for like days and weeks at a time, making it very difficult for Mira to get pregnant. And then I also think Mira was struggling a little bit with infertility as well, which was very frustrating for her. And so little Liam is kind of like their miracle baby. They're so happy that they had a little boy, but Liam has been struggling a little bit and has been sick here and there. The journey to the mainland was very difficult for him. And so they're really hoping that everything goes okay and that he stays healthy. But we also have to go ahead and do Caspian's role as well. And this will be our first role going into adulthood. And I'm very nervous. I actually forgot to do his role at the end of last episode. And today is technically actually Kenrick's birthday, which Caspian is a little bit older. So we're going to go ahead and hop over and do Caspian's role and see how it goes. So I think the way to interpret this is they do not survive if they roll anything greater than nine. So we're going to go ahead and roll for Caspian. Okay, so he rolls an 11, which is greater than nine, which I think that means he does not survive. But instead of just sort of like killing him off like right now with like no explanation, that's not really the way I like to play. But I did come up with an idea for him and I'm actually gonna hold on to that idea right now. I'm not gonna share it yet. So for right now, we're gonna say that Caspian is alive and well. So I'll just have him come and actually send him out hunting because these guys don't have a lot of food since I don't, actually he's got some food right here. So I'll send him out after 
Uh, they don't have a lot since I don't get to play in this household as much. They're not as developed as the main household. Um, but we'll just stay here for just a little while. We won't be here too long because I definitely want to get back into the main household before Rosalind delivers the baby. How is Liam doing? He is hungry. So let's go ahead and feed baby Liam. So Mira will go ahead and take care of that. And then another one of you guys had a really amazing idea for Mira's backstory. I think her and her family are actually from across the sea. They're not originally from this kingdom. And so they had traveled over and started fishing as a means to survive and then eventually settled in. And then that's how Caspian, of course, met Mira's father as part of the same crew and they fell in love and got married, which was already part of their story. But I really like the idea of Mira being from a different kingdom and now she lives here with Caspian. Why don't you do some tummy time with baby Liam? Yeah, they're all, I like that they're moodlets. I know they're not sad specifically from their trip, but it makes sense. I think, you know, that was a really difficult trip for them. They had to take a boat across the bay and were spending like several weeks trying to find any information on Kenrick. And then once they finally met him, things didn't go the way that they wanted. But Caspian has sent his letter out and hopefully they will hear back from Kendrick very soon and they'll be able to travel back and hopefully things can be a little bit better the next time that they see each other. Our baby Liam got the lift head milestone. Look at our little cutie. Our baby Liam. So he is very sleepy. So let's go ahead and put him to bed. Caspian is now back from hunting and we did get duck and venison. Uh, that is really good. But I think we're not gonna spend a lot of time here because they don't have like a ton of activity. So if any of you guys have any ideas for them, um, basically Caspian just goes out fishing a lot. I think I actually will, they have some time. Maybe they're gonna do a nice sunset um, fishing and just have a little chat about their trip and what they want to do next. So I'll just have these guys come spend a little bit of time outdoors while baby Liam is down. Yeah, so these guys are just enjoying a nice sunset fishing and then that should give them some fish. Maybe we can make at least fish head stew. Um, I do imagine that is something since Caspian is a fisherman that they actually enjoy quite a lot of fish especially living here right by the sea but it is 8 p.m so i think we're gonna go ahead and leave these guys right here and go ahead and hop back over to our main household to make sure we do not miss the birth of our next baby so we are back in our main household and Rosalind knows that this baby is coming so she is just here in the tavern getting things all cleaned up because she knows she is going to be down for a little while after the birth and so she's just getting that all taken care of let's see kenrick was working out in the farm but i'm just going to have everyone come in and get settled. Anora is doing good, so I will just have her come and do some cross stitching before bed. I think she is really enjoying learning that. Are you out here, Jasper, with your little sister? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So these guys are gonna just go ahead and head inside. And Adeline is getting pretty tired, um, I don't think. We're probably like an hour away from labor if the timing works out the way that I think it will. And then we do have, let's see, yes, our bassinet is up here. So we will be ready for baby. So I think Rosalind is going to go ahead and I'm going to just cheat hugger this one time just because we were out of the household. So I didn't really get a chance to feed everyone on schedule so i'm just gonna do that because i like to play more realistically and they would have already had dinner by this time so rosalyn is just gonna come up here and relax while she is waiting for the baby but oh i love that kenrick is asking anora what is she making what has she been learning i think rosalyn has definitely been teaching her a little bit <gasps> 
I knew it was going to be really close to 10. We have gone into labor. It is go time, Kenrick. Oh, no, it was the chicken. Okay. <laughs> We're, like, trying to have a baby, and our chicken is gone. That was Fiora. I did um, use a lot of your chicken names, and I never got a chance to call them out in an episode, so I'll try to do a better job of letting you guys know when I use your names. Oh, my gosh, but Fiora is gone, and it is time to have this baby. All right, Rosalyn, it is time. Kenrick, where are you? We are having our fourth baby. Technically our fifth baby because poor baby Penelope did not make it. Oh, but we're going to have more rolls for Rosalind and we're going to have to do Kendrick's roll. It's another girl. Oh my goodness. Unless we had twins. It is another girl. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do our roll. So if it is a one for Rosalyn, she does not survive. And if it is a 5, 10, 15, or 20, then the baby does not survive. So let's go ahead and roll for Rosalyn. And honestly, if it's a one, I kind of want to let it be for the baby. But let's go ahead and roll and say it's for Rosalyn. Okay, Rosalyn survives, and let's roll for baby. Oh my gosh, they both rolled an eight. Okay, baby also survives. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. So let me go ahead and pick up a name. Okay, so we're gonna name her May. I think that's fitting. It is close to the end of spring. I think May is still in spring and not summer quite yet. I can't remember when the seasons change, but I thought May Rosenthorn was such a sweet name. So we do have another baby girl. And then we're gonna go ahead and do Kenrick's role as well right now, just to see if he is gonna survive. But let's see what is going to happen. So yeah, if it's anything greater than nine, then he does not survive. So let's go ahead and roll. 16. So Kenrick is also not going to survive, but I am gonna go ahead and end this episode here. And if you like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.